I've been writing for several years and started at a really good period, I think. By 75, all that had changed. So I decided that it was time to start looking for the next generation. Who are the young people who are going to replace all these 60s and 70s guys? And then I saw the name Sex Pistols in the NME. I went down to the El Paradise strip club and saw them. And in the way that uh, people would talk about The Clash later on, uh, that night I saw the Sex Pistols and it changed my life. That's when I decided this is the future, I'm going to champion it so that we could start creating this new movement. There was no one taking photos of any of this going on, and The Clash especially were just so exciting on stage. My decision was that somebody had to record it, so that's why I picked up a camera and started shooting. It's also why I started shooting in color because of the way The Clash looked. It was like Jackson Pollock was their clothes designer. You don't normally see photos of what the actual environment looked like. It's mostly just people on a stage. If I look through it, I can see at least half a dozen people who got quite famous in, say, the next two years. This is Viv Albertin, who then started The Slits. Susie and the Banshees had done one gig at that point and then went on very quickly to get famous in the next six months. Well, this is The 100 Club. We're in a basement down below Oxford Street, and the Sex Pistols made that stage their home for most of 76. During the punk festival, uh, glass was thrown and smashed, and a girl got glass in her eye. So this whole area is filled with like maybe 10 police. I'm standing right next to Sid Vicious, wherever by the bar. The police just picked him up and carried him out. Didn't say a word to him, just literally picked him up and frog marched him out. This is the magistrate's court where Sid was brought the next morning. I get up here in the witness stand and I talk to the judge and I give him my version of events and then the police come into the box and they give their version of what they said they did. And we're very different about what we say. So the judge sends him down for a week to be remanded and then they're going to bring him back in. The lawyer says his bail's been set at a thousand pounds. And I was so angered by everything that had gone on and how he had been arrested that I said, well, okay, I'll do it. I'll put up his bail. I sort of saw myself as a citizen at that point rather than being a journalist. Because he would have spent the next six months in jail. I certainly thought I was photographing something special. I would just sort of get myself to the very front of the crowd. So in many cases, I'm maybe two or three feet from the nearest musician to me. I was shooting across the stage a lot. 28 mil lens is quite wide angle, so I could get everybody in it. And I was also having to deal with available light. So I was pushing film a lot, making it work in this kind of semi-darkness. Do I still consider myself a punk today? Yeah, absolutely. It's sort of, it's a, it's a, kind of changes your life and it's an attitude. And if you take on that attitude, then it informs just about everything you do.